We've discussed in lecture 55 that the capacitor and the inductor in the circuit may exchange energy. In some conditions, the energy exchange may produce large voltage or current. This phenomenon is called resonance. Resonance has many practical applications. Sometimes we also need to avoid resonance. From this discussion, we will from this lecture we will discuss resonance. Firstly, let's focus on its definition. The increase in amplitude of oscillation of an electric or mechanical system exposed to a periodic force whose frequency is equal to very close to its natural undamped frequency of the system is called resonance. We've discussed the serial RLC circuit and the parallel RLC circuit in lecture 55 and 56. Let's review the characteristic equations of the two circuits. In the viewpoint of duality, serial corresponds to parallel, R corresponds to G, and L corresponds to C, so the two, two equations are the same. We define this part as 2 times alpha, in which alpha is a decay coefficient. We define this part as the square of omega zero, in which omega zero is the undamped angular frequency. Omega zero equals 2 pi times F zero. F zero is the natural undamped frequency in the definition. Let's see the oscillation of an actual mechanical system. It's a famous Tacoma bridge. It's in Washington State, USA. Its length is 1,980 meters. It put into use in July 1st, 1940, but collapsed unfortunately in the same year. This is a video of the Tacoma bridge. The post analysis explained the reason of the collapse is that the frequency of the wind equals the natural undamped frequency of the bridge. So the wind enhanced the oscillation of the bridge resulting in the collapse. Next, let's discuss the resonance in circuits. Firstly, we'll focus on serial RLC circuit. The excitation is voltage source US. Let's draw the phasor graph of the circuit. We mark every branch variable. We define I as the reference phasor. UR and I are in phase. UL leads I 90 degrees. UC lags I 90 degrees. If omega L equals 1 over omega C in the circuit, the phasor graph will be like this. So the voltage, is so the voltage and the current are in phase seen from the port. We can also calculate the EQ seen from the source port to get the conclusion. Obviously, when omega zero equals one over omega c, the input impedance represents the characteristic of a resistor. So the resonance condition of the serial RLC circuit is like this. and the input impedance of the resonant circuit is like this. For the parallel RLC circuit, we can also discuss it from the viewpoint of duality. So its current source here, we will draw its phasor graph, mark branch variables, we define the voltage as a reference phasor. The voltage and the current of conductance are in phase, IC leads U 90 degrees. And IL lags U 90 degrees. If omega C equals 1 over omega L, the phasor graph is like this. 
so the voltage and the current of the port are in phase. Similarly, we can get the input and input admittance seen from the source port. Similar to the derivation of the serial RLC circuit, we can also get the condition of the parallel resonant of the RLC circuit like this. The input admittance of the resonant circuit is this. Okay, this is the end of this lecture.